Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Star Arcade, and more blood will be spilled in the last episode. Uh, we tracked down Vanessa, ran into Marshall, who ran away. Uh, they're building some railroad that looks like spiders, uh, or spider webs. And I guess Queen, Queen showed up to help us, and I guess killed Vanessa? Like, we didn't have an option to bring her in alive. Um, and then we had a vision of, uh, Snake Eyes asking us for help. Jack, back on your feet, I see. Good. We have a lot to talk about. <sighs> Thanks for patching me up. But if you'll excuse me, I don't really have time to chat. What's the rush? Your Calavero friends waiting for you? The hell are you talking about? Aren't you gonna ask me how I got to the casino just in time to save you from getting minced by Vanessa? I'm not in the mood for games, Queen. You got something to say, you say it. Otherwise, get out of my way. I had one of my girls follow you. Just in case you'd actually find the casino. When she saw the trap you fell into, she rushed back here to tell me. I mean, yeah, I did notice one of the girls was there. But before that, she overheard the little chat you had with the marshal. You forgot to let you two know each other. And it also seems that you go way back with Sullivan and Ramirez as well. You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't? Enlighten me then. How do you know Calaveras? What is it that I was helping you achieve? Queen, I don't have time for this. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to shoot me. But I have to go now. Is that just his response to every person who, like, slightly inconveniences him? Like, if you're gonna stop me, shoot me. It's like, sir, I'm just here to deliver your mail. Please sign for the package here. We're not finished, Jack. I mean, you're letting me go, which makes me think we are. Hey, Ace, you got anything to say? No? Alright. No mariachi? Sad day. Stop right there, friendo. Are you Mr. Jack? Man, just let me get my new gun first. Not now, I'm in a bit of a rush, friendo. You look an awful lot like the fella on this poster. There's a price on your head, you know. <laughs> you gotta be joking. Get him, boys! We're gonna be rich! Seriously? Alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. That's one. That's two. Can I aim over this barrel? Nope. Can I aim over that barrel? Looks like it. That's three. Yeah. I've got something especially painful for you, friend. Time to spill some blood. Two turns. That's all it took. The old shaman might be in great danger. Jack's gotta hurry. No! Let me... I want my new gun. I got all the Eldorado parts. No! No! Snake. It wasn't hard to place the handiwork. Marshall. Come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be... Is he just, like, straight up? Last traces of the Indian culture in the region. Gone. Replaced by... Progress. Like, we don't even get a chance to help him? So what, am I, what, did they teleport me here just to be like, hey, so your friend- finally happening. The railroad construction came here as well. What's this? A memento here, of all places. Railroad was a real wonder for many people. Not everyone can fly and travel long distances. 
through the hostile desert on foot was usually considered a rather bad idea. That's why flyers became successful businessmen and traveled the world, while other people crawled, it, crawled in the dirt their whole lives. But with the construction of the railroad, people somehow became ma magically equal. Now any wretch could pack their blondes and start a new life on the other side of the country in a few days. All they need is this little piece of paper. A true wonder. Hmm. Please let me get my new gun. Oh my god, I swear. If. Look who came back. Oh Convenient. my god. What happened here? A bunch of these Calavera lads came by. Wanted to burn the place down, but Queen and I, we convinced them otherwise. And where have you been? Sierra Hormiguero, an old Indian settlement. A friend who once saved my life lived there. Found him dead, the whole place in flames. Marshal's work. Bloody hell! Uh, I'm sorry. There's no time for sympathies. We gotta find Marshal and make him pay. Not without my new gun. Before I even move a finger, you gotta tell us what this is all about. Oh my god. How do you know Calaveras? How long did you know that Marshall is one of them? <sighs> you were right. I go way back with them. It was five years ago. Hey, just about how long it takes me to finish a single battle in this game. Wow, that... That's alright. Cutscene time. Five years ago, Marshall put together a group of men. Sullivan. Ramirez, Shorty, and Jack. They were supposed to hunt down criminals with a price on their head. The jobs were easy, the pay was good, so no one complained. But as time passed, Jack started to question the purpose of their actions. The bounties were a little too easy at times. The so-called criminals were mostly farmers, ranchers, and landowners it was hard to imagine a wanted criminal turn into farming or the other way around slowly it became clear that jack's suspicion was correct it should have been an ordinary job a solitary house in the middle of nowhere yet once they broke open the door who they found inside was no dangerous gangster but a family in the midst of a dinner Marshall, however, did not find it strange at all. Wielding a crudely drawn bounty poster, he ordered them seized or killed should they resist. As the man struggled to defend his family, Ramirez gunned him down without a hint of remorse. That very moment, Jack snapped. He charged at Ramirez, trying to stop him from killing the whole family. But the rest of the group didn't take kindly to his sudden change of heart. Jesus, so that explains why we can't fly. Once they were done with him, they returned to the business they left unfinished. As Jack lay broken and bloodied on the ground, watching his former colleagues leave, Marshall turned to him. In an act of cruel compassion, he put down a single bullet just outside of Jack's reach. Consider this to be my parting gift for your services. You could try to shoot one of us, but believe me, you better save it for yourself. Crippled by the immense pain and heat, Jack slowly crawled through the wasteland until falling unconscious. It took days before a wandering Indian shaman found dying Jack took him to safety and started tending his wounds. In the end, Jack survived. And as for the bullet, he kept it, aiming to return it one day. You know, I've been meaning to say this. Mother of mercy. I've been meaning to say this for a while, but I think this is the most intense game we've played on the channel so far. In fact, I think this is the first game Rated T. Or no, that's not rated. Because this game's rated T. I think this is the first game not rated E. 
Oh, actually, wait a minute. Before I... Let me check something real quick. Never mind. Technically, the first game rated... To not be rated E or E or E10 on this channel was Shantae and the Seven Sirens, which is rated T for teen due to suggestive themes. But like, it's weird to think that this game and then Shantae and the Seven Sirens are like considered the same in terms of rating. Anyways, Jack, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Why was your voice so loud in the battle? Now it's as quiet as a mouse. Yeah. There was a plan of the railroad back on the ship. Together with Marshall's notes. As it turns out, those people we hunted down five years ago, most of them own lands that railroad is being built on now. Hmm. So Marshall was working for the King's Railroad Company from the very beginning. As were the Calaverans, so it would seem. Yeah. Marshall also got a letter from a certain Mr. King. Here. What would have happened if we never found that letter? Because, like, as you saw, I accidentally skipped that whole room. The head of the railroad company? Let me see. Hmm, seems he takes a great interest in the slave aspect of the whole enterprise. I wonder why. Wait, so you're telling me that son of a Mike Marshall wasn't only using slaves to build the railroad, he killed for the lands to build it on. And all of that on Mr. King's direct orders. So the railroad that was supposed to help people was paid for with the blood of hundreds. And there's no telling what that bastard's gonna do with these people once they don't need them anymore. Might sell them off or worse getting Marshall is the crucial part here the real question is how are we gonna find him now after what went down at the casino I expected trouble so I got my girls to follow him it seems he'll be riding his personal train tomorrow probably taking the captives to King but getting on that train could be really tricky <laughs> I think I might have an idea. Good. Good. Marshall's plan is entering the end game now. After concluding the business in the south, he'll be taking a midnight train straight to the Badlands. It will be impossible to catch him in time, unless you had a train of your own. Sergeant's proposed plan is to make a night visit to the service depot number 10. Kindly borrow one of their locomotives and feed it so much coal, it'll leave a blazing trail in its wake. And once they chase Marshall down, they're prepared to exchange some rather violent greetings with him. Needless to say, Sergeant's eyes sparkled with joy. Once again, I always gotta That's say it. That's a suicide I, uh, mission if there ever was one. But with a bit of luck, it might just work. Anyways, like I was saying, I always love when characters with multiple arms do do like things with their multiple arms. Like in that cutscene, Queen had two hands like helping her lean against the desk, but also had another two hands that were crossed uh, as she was looking at the. It, it, I, just, I don't know. It's something about like characters with multiple arms and using all of them that I absolutely love. It's the best plan we have at the moment. You two sure you want to do this? This is not your fight. The bastard wanted to burn down my saloon. He'll definitely try to get rid of me for helping you. And for Vanessa. Of course it's my fight. After all that bastard's done, I can't just sit on my ass and do nothing. No, we're with you, lad. Okay, that's good and all, but please let me get my gun. Understood. Pack your things then. We leave at sundown. Finally. Oh wow, her windows are all shot up. Hey, May I hi. you in one of our newest pieces? Yes, you can. Give me this. Oh, it's beautiful. I also have seven thousand dollars.
What don't I have? One, two. Okay, so I could get this. But that's a lot of weight. It's also got more accuracy. You know, I don't think we need anything other than the, uh, the Eldorado. So, like, we're just gonna... We're just gonna... There's a story about the Eldorado, the golden one. Vicious warrior with two pistols made of solid gold. Legendary weapons, able to destroy whole armies. But he was betrayed by his own men. His guns crushed and scattered all around the world, so no one can ever find them. If you happen to find all the parts, bring them to old uh, Sergio. Or... Oh yeah, that is nice. Look at how many bullets I have. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, I want to go in Marshall here. Marshall leaves no loose ends. Oh, jeez. That is unfortunate. Hey, Padre, you okay? He is. Welcome back, son. It's good to see you're back to good health. I heard your last journey almost ended very badly. If it weren't for Madame's intervention. You can say that. Though honestly, I'm already starting to get used to being at death's door. And yet you still follow this path. Wasn't this enough of a sign that your course might be a wrong one? Are you so certain that your aim is just? Why do you still persist in your endeavor, son? Because someone has to, Padre. Make no mistake, I ain't no hero. This whole thing is personal. But when the ones that are supposed to protect people turn out to be corrupt bastards, it's up to someone like me to step in, try to do something about it. Might not be the best way, but it's the only way I know. And it's still better than just sitting here and doing nothing. Because then people get hurt, and friends die. And I don't got many friends, Padre. I see. When I became a priest, I thought at first that there's only the light and the darkness, good or evil. In my life, I saw good people doing bad things for the strangest of reasons. In the worst people, I saw light buried somewhere deep down inside them. But you, my son, you are a mystery. Maybe the great weavers sent you just to test the faith of an old fool. <laughs> or maybe sometimes you really have to do bad things only to achieve something good in the grand scheme of things. Maybe that's the path you walk now. In the end, it's not my place to pass judgments. I only pray that once this is all over, that you will finally find your peace. Goodbye, Jack. Once again, you gotta say it, I really like that character. He offers a unique perspective. He's also heavily contrasted by his other friend over here. Good to see you alive and kicking, partner. For a minute there, I thought I'd be putting you in the ground before the day's end. Instead, I buried those fools that came for your head. Is it true what they said? Is there a bounty on you? Seems so. Why? <laughs> you thinking about trying your luck? Not really, no. But you gotta be careful, friend. There's plenty of folks that be up for the challenge. If I were you, I would just pack my things 
and get as far away from here as possible. Nothing keeps you here. You can go wherever you want. I still got one more thing I need to see through. Besides, you'd miss me if I went away. You wouldn't know what to do with so much free time on your hands. <laughs> You're probably right, partner. Take care of yourself, Jack. I also really like him. He has a very odd disposition to everything. But, you know, he's not malicious or anything. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very odd, very strange. Oh, that's the highest bounty yet. Jack wanted their I think I saw this man somewhere before. Oh, well, with his lifestyle, it was just a matter of time before Jack would end up on the bounty board himself. Well, this is just ridiculous. Now every cockroach in the country will try his luck for this pile of money. Jack wanted dead or alive, preferably dead. Armed and very dangerous. Alright. I thought I took the poster, so why is it still up there? I can't tell if she's... Oh, no, she's smoking. It really did look like she was drinking for a second there. Um, all, all the wand posters up there. It seems I missed quite a few mementos. Um, what's this? Fancy... This particular throw knife belongs to someone with both a good taste for beautifully crafted items with high artistic value and a passion for deadly razor sharp weapons used for precise killing. An interesting combination indeed. Yeah, so it looks like I missed quite a few things. Oh well, maybe you guys could try this game out for yourselves and try and find them if that's what you want to try and do. But no, honestly, this game does have some replay value because... At the start of the game, you could pick the good, the bad, or the ugly. I picked the good, which means there's still a whole set of... Um, there's still a whole set of, um, of abilities we haven't seen in the game yet. Alright, time to head to the next chapter. It can be done, amigo. Uh, I think there's going to be eight chapters, probably. Alright, all right, just got... Ah, come on. Stuck on my house coat. Alright, well, uh... I guess we're finally unlocking our harmonica. El Dorado, and... I, I at least have access to every skill. And most of them... Ah, don't be so feisty, lads. We're just gonna borrow your loco, uh, loco, uh, uh, your engine or wagon or whatever you say. Sound the alarm! Um, well, that didn't work. Oh, look at that golden gun. All right, how many people do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Really? Six? That's it? Wait a minute. What? Use single barreled shotgun of your Eldorado. I'm sorry, the Eldorado has a shotgun shot? Oh, uh, that absolutely suck um whoa, whoa 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 camera camera oh wait can i i got an idea all right can i angle this properly it does not seem to be the case i get it clean if i wanted they got an explosive barrel under there. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go for the regular shot. Oh, the shotgun shot doesn't count as Matt. using a bullet. That's interesting to know. Uh, 
queen. Are you able to just move up right in front of him? Awesome, you are. Because if I remember correctly, this is uh, one of the weaker guys. No surrender. Oh shoot! There's a there's a guy above us. I uh, completely missed him in both in both senses of the word. I don't even think that killed him. Honestly, let's just let everyone come to us. Like this honestly looks like it's going to be a real easy fight. Is it all you're gonna pay for that? Oh, there's a lot more guys than I thought there was. Uh, what happened? Did the, did the game freeze? Um, there we go. Had to finagle it a little, but uh, I got it to work again. That was scary. This game is a uh, very un. You know what's funny? This game seems super unstable, yet I have never had crash on me before. I, in fact, I've had way more stable games than this crash on me before. Uh, that dynamite guy is going to be annoying. <laughs> Wait, really? That guy passed? Wait, is that guy even... Is that guy even an enemy, or is he on our side? Uh, I can't tell. Ammunition, what? Hmm, alright. Man, I forget that Jack cannot move very far. May I? Like, yeah, like, look how far Queen can move before she has to do literally anything. Like, all of that is one action. Maybe it's wings? Maybe Jack's so slow because he doesn't have any wings? Ha <laughs> I don't want to live forever, mate! No, we're gonna save that because I don't think I could actually hit anyone with it. And I and besides, I only get three shots. He is so drunk. Like, look how look how inaccurate his pistol is. Yeah, that did nothing. Oh shoot! I forgot about the dynamite. I probably shouldn't have moved to Jack so close. Shoot that bastard! This could end very badly for me. Is this how you treat a lady? <laughs> well, well, there goes Queen. <laughs> oh, now you want to join the fight? Let me. hit this guy with the derringer nope completely whiffed it all right well let's are you kidding me i can't even make it over there the <sighs> all right don't fire until you see the lights of their compound eyes oh yeah that's right i was going to comment on this in one of the other episodes but that line he says uh, I think it's something an actual U.S. general has said before, uh, where it's like, don't fire until you look them in the eyes, like, while they were hiding, or something. Can't quite remember. It is also possible that that was just part of a song. Leave it to me. 
You won't regret that, friend. Yeah, this honestly might be a tough fight. Alright, we can't all fit, guys. Like, come on. You asked for this. There will be blood. Um. Ooh. -hoo. You know what? Yeah. Because if he's stunned, that means he that means he can't move away from the dynamite. Oh, this works out perfectly. Thunder and lightning! <laughs> I can't aim directly above myself, so I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to move here and see if I can uh, shoot the heck out of this, this guy here with the Gatling gun. Are you kidding me? All that? Oh, great, and he still took damage. That's not good. Let me. Uh, let me uh, go up here, and I don't know if I can actually beat that Rhino guy at the moment. So I'm just gonna uh, play it safe and uh, pop these guys. So I'm just gonna get up. Real close with you, and uh, did I get him? I, I honestly can't tell. Oh yeah, I got him. All right, Ace, can you survive this? It'd be awesome if you could. You asked for this. All right, there goes that. I don't know if I can hit Rhino Guy from here. It doesn't look like I can. Um, oh, blood! Get a little bit of that. No mercy. And I'm pretty sure this is the last guy we have. There we go. Easiest buy. Uh, Queen still sucks. Bastards put up quite a fight, eh? Let's go. The darn thing should be inside. Uh, is Queen still going to be knocked out? Like, hopefully this isn't like a thing of like if you lose her this early on, you lose her permanently. Cause uh, that would uh, that would suck, my friend. It would suck a lot. Oh no! Yeah, we got everyone. Oh, this is awesome. Iron Centipede. Wait, wait, can I go up here? I can. Oh, is that a memento? Let's take a look at it real quick. Map of the King's Railway. So this is how the whole railway railroad really looks. It runs in all directions and connects every part of the country with that place in the middle of the Badlands. Maybe it's maybe it's just a coincidence, but the overall shape feels strangely familiar somehow. It seems that they are planning to expand. That's why Ramirez hit the south so badly, and this part over here will cut right through the old Indian territory. Alright, 
Everyone hop on board! We're leaving! This is awesome. This is so cool. Mass Chapter 8 Massacre Time. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Unless there's... Yeah, this is a good place to end the episode. So in the next episode, uh, it might be an hour-long episode. We're going to go until we finish it. So, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.